What's up YouTube fans? Today I'm going to take a look at the TransArt Motor Spider or their version of a masterpiece Beast Wars Transmetal Tarantulas. So this was sent to me by G Tony. Thanks for sending me stuff like this so I can take a look at it. This thing is really beautiful right out of the box. It's got tons of paint. All the green you see, this metallic blue, the gold highlights there, this kind of pinkish maroon paint, nice gold chrome there on the feet, which are actually die cast. Um, another die cast, or right, more gold chrome here. I think this is actually plastic, but plenty of paint and detail on this guy. He looks really good. I'll put the cartoon there if I can find a good image of him, but they nailed it. They nailed the look of tarantulas here in uh, Transmetal. He does have some nice articulation. The head goes up to there, down to there. It is on a double ball peg, so the head itself can go up and down, but then the neck can also move forward and back, so it's a very nice joint there. I really like how it's designed. You get side to side due to the top ball joint, and then it rotates all the way around. So, nice joint there. Arms rotate around on, uh, looks like a disc, disc hinge on a universal. You have a double jointed elbow gets you the full bend. This piece can rotate in and out to get out of the way, so if you want to get the arm up, you can rotate it out and allow you to do that. You have a rotation here at the bicep. Rotation at the wrist, in and out movement at the wrist. The claws themselves can open up and close. You can pose those. Coming out of the waist, you have a waist rotation here. Uh, no ab crunch really. Legs go up to there. Back to there, hindered by his back plate here, up to the side. Those are all on friction, but the tolerances are nice and tight. And the good news is it is a screw, so if you can, if you need to, you can tighten it. You have a rotation at the knee, not at the thigh. Uh, you also have a 90 degree bend at the knee. Nice tolerance on that joint, it feels actually pretty good. You have up and down on the foot, side to side on the foot. And again, nice tolerances there. I do worry that those would loosen over time, but uh, it does work pretty nicely here in robot mode. As far as the accessories, we do get his weapon here with the blade, really nicely painted in this metallic blue, same color, and then the orange here, and it does spin. If you come to the hand here, there is a little spot to get it plugged in. So just line up that tab, and you can bring the finger down just a little bit. But this will hang in here. And then you can close the fingers around and it actually looks like he's holding it. So that's really nicely designed. It looks good and it works. Pegs in securely. You also get his arachnoids here. Again, painted beautifully. Nice metallic blue, silver, and then this maroonish pink. These have actually have articulation. As you can see, the legs can move so they can actually walk like little spiders. You can have them posed like that. They also come with little grabbers. Look like this, painted in that same maroon, maroonish color. And there's different ones, so you can, for the these ones, you can actually plug that grabber in. It actually comes with three, so there's two holes on this one, so I guess you could plug in two if you wanted to on this particular one. But there you go for that. I'll set him down. We get another one, actually let's just compare. This one has just a single hole on his back. So same thing, you can move the legs back and forth and then we can plug in one of these guys. And these are, you know, a tight fit, so you gotta really give it a firm press in there. But be careful, because these are thin plastic, but that works. And then we can have one more, and they do like to fall over if you have those things. I don't have a flat surface here. And this last one is kind of like the carrying one, right? They can put the actual whatever in here. It looks really nice. 
And this one doesn't actually accept the claw. Uh, but it's nice that they actually gave you the variety. They gave you all three of these arachnoids. And for a quick size comparison, there it is next to the Takara Tomy Masterpiece Optimus Primal. Pretty big character here, you know, just comes head to head. Maybe a little shorter. Um, the shoulders up to his head, but nice scale for the Masterpiece. All right now let's get Motor Spider transformed into his beast mode. And it's not a overly complicated transformation, but there are no instructions included with him. They really just give you a link to a video, which ends up being Mang Motion. And while he makes great videos, his instructions aren't great because they just move too quickly and don't really explain things. Uh, but luckily, this is a simple transformation, so let's get started. Go ahead and come to the arms here. We're going to unplug them from here. So you kind of want to hold this blue piece and get this separated. It's two tabs that are tabbed in the arms. And just fold that away. Um, you'll see this kind of rotates now that you've loosened that up. All right, same on this one. Just hold this blue piece and then separate these two tabs. That'll allow you to now take this one and untab this from here as well. So unpeg the blue piece from both sides. And you can just bring those out just a little bit. And you should be able to get them kind of out of the way. We're going to take this front chest piece. I'm going to unpeg this head. This chest piece, the head is actually tabbed in. A uh, little subtle detail, there's a little slot right here for the neck. So bring this down, accordion it down like that. Take the head and we're going to lift up on this and basically separate all of this. Bring the head around, and that's going to sit down underneath this piece here. Come to the top here, and we can bring this panel down. Actually, we have to close these so they line up with this piece. So those armatures are lined up. Then you can bring this down. This tabs into here on the front. All right, next, come to the bottom here, and we'll take care of all this. Bring these down. To the side, you're going to straighten up these armatures. They're bent ever so slightly back like that. So you're going to straighten them up. That'll allow you to bring them down. We're going to take this entire waist piece, rotate this 180 degrees, ends up the other direction like this. You can take these feet, fold them up. So they sit like that. Nice big die cast pieces. And you can just straighten all that up. All right, next we can take the arms. And these are going to come outwards. All right, next we'll take care of this piece here. So go ahead and rotate these inwards. And these two pieces are going to meet. There's a tab right here and a slot on the top. So get that tabbed in. It is a tight fit, especially the first time. So just give it a nice push. Taking this out, I recommend a spudger. Don't pull it with your hands because you could end up, you know, putting a stress on these pieces here. You're going to rotate this to the side. Now, just remember what direction you rotate it because you have to put it back. These are side-specific pieces. So when you put it back, you got to put it in, back in the place where you had taken it out. Slot right there, tab underneath. So line that up with the tab and get that tabbed in. And it still spins, which is really cool. All right, come to the front here. We're going to take these panels. These are going to unpick from his backpack. You just tabbed in right here, and you can just rotate these hands out of the way for now. This is going to come down. It's a double hinge, so make sure the double hinge comes all the way down like this and lines up. And then there's a tab right here on the gold piece that's going to go in the bottom of this blue piece. Uh, and you're also tabbing in this tab right here into the thigh. So all that's kind of holding this together. Right? Same on this side, bring this down, unpeg it. Make sure you accordion down the double hinge. It can be a little squeaky sounding, so just be aware of that. Bring these arms up and out of the way so you're not colliding. And remember you're getting both of those tabs in. It's a pretty secure fit once you get it, so it should feel nice and secure. All right, next we'll take care of these arms back here. So come down here. And we're going to rotate at the 
forearm, then rotate the hand back. This is going to fold down on this double hinge. It ends up like this. This double hinge is going to fold underneath and inside, so accordion that in. So it ends up in there. And it should fit underneath. It can be a little bit of a tight fit, but it should go into here. Then we're going to take, bring this down. This is going to come up, and there's a little tab right here and a slot. You just peg that into there. And you'll have something like that. Great. Same on this side. All right, and there is Motor Spider in his beast mode. And I really like how it looks. The chrome, gold chrome really worked out here in this mode. I also love that it can actually stand up on these spider feet. Nine times out of ten, spider-based transformers can't stand because the joints are too weak. So this actually works. And I did forget to mention in robot mode, you can actually articulate these. I didn't bother with it, but you can. Uh, speaking of articulation, we do have a opening and closing mouth down here, which is kind of hidden, but you can open this little mouth on the front. It's kind of hard to see, but this joint right there. I don't know who's going to be seeing that. The legs have a couple of joints. You have a joint that moves in and out. It does have a stop point, so don't push it past that. I would be careful with all of these joints, by the way. It goes up to there, down to there. This one goes up to there, down to there. And by the way, if you feel resistance on these when you first get it, I would just work it a little bit to free it. This one is the tightest, so I'd recommend holding here and then articulating, but it's very, very tight. And it's not my figure, so I don't want to break it, but it feels like it's going to break, so just be very careful. And if you don't need to move those, don't move those. But overall, I do think it looks really good, and I am impressed with this mode. All right, now we can put him in his vehicle mode. Yes, he does have vehicle mode. All these transmittal ones did. If you come to the bottom here and you take this weapon that we had earlier. There's two little pegs on the outside. You're going to take this. That's going to peg in right here between these two black pieces here. The fit is not perfect, uh, at least on this copy. I can't get it exactly fit there. All right, there we go. So you want to get it like right in the middle and then you come to the back here, unpeg this. We're going to rotate this and of course be careful. But back down, and there you go, there's your vehicle mode. It doesn't roll the best. It's not the best vehicle mode, but you can do it if you want to. And for a quick size comparison, there it is next to MP10 Optimus Prime. Nice big spider mode here. Looks good. So final recommendations on the TransArt Motor Spider. I'm going to give this a 4 to 5. I'm going to recommend it. This is a really good version of Tarantulas. He looks great in the robot mode here. Lots of nice detail, paint accents, overall sculpted, you know, really, you know, well done. The accessories are nice. I like the, the weapon here and then these three little arachnoids. They just, they look really good. Um, also, the fact that they have um, articulation on these just kind of surprised me. I also think the... Beast mode looks pretty good. There's a couple little connection points which I think are a little bit on the loose side. Uh, but overall, I definitely recommend it. If you're a Beast Wars fan, this is kind of a must-have update for Tarantulas. And yeah, they did a good job. So that's really it for today. Thanks for watching. Thanks to G Tony for sending us for review. And we'll see you next time.